Have you ever thought about the five forgotten people groups that are associated with the prison? Probably not because most of us just forget. There are important people who need to be valued, remembered, and supported. So I'm just gonna throw this out there for you to chew on a little bit. Every prison facility has resident inmates, often forgotten. We see them get arrested on the news, we read something about their trial, their sentencing, and that's the end of the story. Except it's not, it's the beginning of their sentence and it's the beginning of their story in prison. Prison residents need support. How about corrections officers? How many of you, when you were in middle school, said, I wanna be a correctional officer when I grow up? It's not a people group or a profession that we think about very often. But correctional officers need support. They need appreciation. They need help to do a very hard job. And it's important that we don't forget about them. How about the other staff in the prison? You know, prison is not just about guarding, it's about rehabilitation. So you have case managers who are working with um, the residents to, to meet their goals and to prepare for release, to make changes in their lives and to get a handle on all the things that landed them in prison in the first place. You have medical staff, doctors and nurses work in prisons. You have kitchen staff, you have warehouse staff, you have all kinds of uh, administrative assistance. It's a lot of people to run a prison. Do we ever think about those staff who have to drive through the gates that are topped with razor wire every day on their way to work? Let's stop forgetting about them. Oh, and how about the administrators? who are in the very unusual position of having to meet a whole lot of people groups needs. And oftentimes those needs appear to be in conflict with each other. And the administrators have to do that while staying on budget and while being very directly influenced by the current political climate in the state where their prison is. It is not an easy job, but do we stop and think about wardens and assistant wardens very often? Maybe we should. But that's only four people groups. Where am I getting this fifth forgotten or ignored people group associated with the prison? Well, all of those people that I just described, the inmate residents, the correctional officers, the other prison staff, the prison administrators, they all have families. They are not the only ones impacted by the environment of the prison. Their families are impacted as well. That's a lot of people groups. That's a lot of people impacted by incarceration. So let's see what we can do to stop forgetting about it, to stop ignoring it, and instead to start caring. If you'd like to learn more, please visit prisoncare.org. I'm Sabrina Justison, and I just want to thank you for caring.